this here is um pretty shocking. <sighs> you know these them BBLs, y'all, y'all, y'all. I don't know what the sick fetish is with these butts, but they gonna be the death of you one way or other. So there's two Americans who survived a border kidnap linked to ultra-violent Gulf cartel that deleted two of their friends as they drove south to get budget tummy tuck surgery. Oh, this was not a BBL. I'm sorry. This was a tummy tuck. Um, two Americans uh, was kidnapped at, at gunpoint at the U.S.-Mexico border. By a Gulf cartel, um, man, have been found dead, deleted. I'm sorry, and two others wounded, with one person now under arrest. Mexican of officials have said that the leader of the Gulf cartel may be involved. The four Americans had been traveling south. So that one of the group could have a tummy tuck when they got caught in a gunfire between two gangs. That seems to be what the news is reporting, um, at least. You know, I always take what they say with a grain of salt, unfortunately, but it's the truth. They're always going to embellish or they, and they're always going to um, add their two cents. Two Americans who survived being kidnapped at gunpoint at the border by the Gulf Cartel had been pictured in the back of an ambulance before being transported to Texas. Two others traveling with them were found deceased along the road to a beach, local news outlets reported, and at least one person has been arrested. Latavia Tay McGee, her cousin, Shahid Woodard and their friends Zendel Brown and Eric Williams were said to have been traveling um, south so McGee could get a budget tummy tuck. And when they got caught, that's when they got caught in between um, the, the crossfire of two gangs. El Universal reported that the woman believed to be McGee was not injured and the man she was with uh, were found in a stash house in the rural town of El Teleconte, six and a half miles from Matumoros. Matumoros. The governor of Tam Tamaulipas, Americo Velario Anaya, confirmed the condition of the four Americans over the phone. Call President Andres Manuel Lopez press conference on Tuesday. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, she said, Wow. The governor, Amario Valerio, said that there had been close attention on the incident. And medical support is being provided to the surviving victims, while the president vowed those responsible will be punished. There is no impunity. There is someone under arrest, Lopez said. Those responsible are going to be found. They are going to be punished, as was done when they murdered women and children in Vasipi from LeBaron, Millen, Langford family, all involved were arrested. The, Tamaul the Tamaulipas State Attorney General's Office said that four American citizens deprived of their liberty last Friday were found about 7.30 a.m. on Tuesday. Unfortunately, the two are deceased. Investigations and intelligence work continues to capture those responsible. Details will be given later. Following your joint work instructions, we have not stopped paying attention to this problem since Friday and as appropriately as an hour ago, approximately an hour ago, we were notified that there were indications of having seen the four Americans citizens um, and 35 minutes ago 
it was fully confirmed by the prosecutor. Mm. Of the four, again, two of them are deceased. Um, and one person injured and the other is alive. The ambulances and the rest of the security personnel are on their way to give correspondent support for their transfer, for transfer and any other medical support that can be given. Lord have mercy, Lord, Lord, Lord. What a nightmare. What a freaking nightmare. You get caught up in some craziness. Republican representatives Dan Crenshaw of Texas and Michael Walsh of Florida recently introduced a bill that will give Biden authority to use the military against these cartels in Mexico. Wow. That is absolutely insane. They got a picture. McGee is sitting on the ground after the vehicle she and three other U.S. citizens was traveling on was shot at by kidnappers moments after they drove into the Mexican border city of Matamoros. So that's what you call a true bona fide being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Mexican newspapers, Millennial cites law enforcement officials said they were investigating whether the group was kidnapped by members of the Gulf Cartel, a notoriously violent gang run by a feared known leader known as Lakina. The four had traveled from Salt Lake City, I mean Lake City, Carol, South Carolina, to the border town of Matamoros uh, for McGee to undergo a discounted tummy tuck, according to her sister. Uh, I mean, according to a sister of one of the kidnapped victims. When they got caught in the crossfire Friday, it remains unclear who out of the four were deceased, although pictures from an ambulance show McGee and a man with one another. Details of the um, the way they were deceased also remain unclear at this time. You know, this makes you think about Shanquilla uh, Robertson, uh, Robertson, and. Um, the lack of commitment to me, it seems like, to find out what is going on. And it also reminds me of uh, Malcolm Shabazz. Went over there into one of those bars. And all of a sudden, they said somebody start. he started arguing with somebody over a beer tab. And he ended up beating to death. I mean, Mexico... I mean, it's such a lawless place right now at this time. I mean, as an American, I know it's just right across the street, but it's, it's too many gangs that inhabit the police, you know. And um, just like in America, you don't know who in on it. It's just sad because nobody seems to get prosecuted. Former Attorney General Bill Barr said that the U.S. authorities should treat gangs the same way they do ISIS when negotiating for America's release. They are terrorists, he said during an appearance on the Fox News last night. The Mexican government is being held hostage by tens of thousands of paramilitary members of terrorist organizations that effectively control Mexico. Yep. Mexico is ran by the drug lords. It's pretty close at this stage to a failed narco state. They can use violence and oceans of cash to corrupt the government. The government has no will and doesn't have the ability to deal with these cartels. Lakina leads the Gulf Cartel 
and is known as Chiclone 19. His real name is Alberto Garcia Villano. Mexican authorities have been hunting him for months and are offering a reward of 2.5 million pesos for any information that would lead to his arrest. Zalandria Brown of Florence, South Carolina said on Monday she had been in contact with the FBI and local officials learning that her lunder, her younger brother Zendel was one of the four victims. Mexican states under U.S. do not travel warnings. I mean, because it is. It's, it's a dangerous place to be. It is. It really is dangerous. This is like a bad dream you wish you could wake up from, she said in a phone interview with the Associated Press. To see a family member, of a member of your family, thrown in the back of a truck and dragged is just unbelievable. Zalandria said her brother who lives in Myrtle Beach and two friends had accompanied McGee and that that group was extremely close, making the trip in part to help slip, split up the driving duties. They were aware of the dangers in Mexico, Zalandria noticed, and her brother had even expressed some misgivings before the trip. Mm -mm -mm. Zendel kept saying, we shouldn't go down, we shouldn't go down. That was his intuition. The House spokesperson, Karine Jean-Pierre, told reporters on Monday during a news briefing that the Biden administration had been closely following the assault and kidnapping of the four U.S. citizens. These attacks are unacceptable, she added. Tell me about it. Show was, um, so was, uh, that girl's killing. I mean, it's all so bizarre. So was Malcolm Shabazz killing. And nothing was done about it. Anyway, this is this is deep. Y'all better watch it. And the government has deemed Mexico unsafe, an unsafe place to travel. So you do it, you do it at your own risk. For real, for real. What y'all think about this? I I mean, seriously. What do you think about people continuing to go to Mexico? In these third world places to get their surgeries and butt plants and, and titty pl um, oops, breast plants and all this other crazy stuff. What do y'all think about it? Curious. Just want to know. All right. With that being said, if you like what you hear, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video.